I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media. I'm here with Marie Hattar, Chief Marketing Officer for Ixia. Marie, let's talk about CloudLens. What is CloudLens? So CloudLens is an end-to-end -end visibility platform for both private, hybrid and public clouds. It's uh, Ixia's uh, industry first to provide uh, visibility into your clouds end-to-end. -end. And wh what kind of use cases are people uh, supporting with CloudLens? I mean, it's obviously the three kinds of cloud methods, sure. but what are they actually doing? So, so it depends whether, you know, in the private cloud arena, you have uh, different environments, different hypervisors that are out there. You have VMware, you have uh, OpenStack type deployments, uh, you have, uh, you know, Microsoft, uh, Hyper-V type mm -hmm. of deployments. One of the things that happens in a private cloud environment is that you want to be able to see inter-VM traffic, so east-west traffic. Mm -hmm. We've always had good visibility to north-south traffic, but within a private cloud, you want to have access to that east-west traffic in those different hypervisor environments. And so with CloudLens, we give you that visibility to that east-west traffic. Now, if I shift over to public clouds, there is a myriad of public clouds mm -hmm. out there, and each one is unique. But if you're a tenant and you want to see what's going on within your traffic, there wasn't an easy way to actually get access to that traffic to look at it from a performance standpoint to have visibility into it. And so with the CloudLens platform, what we're able to do is to provide the framework so that you could look <coughs> into that type of traffic across different cloud environments. And then hybrid, of course, is any customer, which is the majority of folks out there doing both. Use doing both. Right. And that's, I mean, I see that as the norm for moving forward. It, it is. It is. I, I don't even know why, you know, people make that distinction because it is, in fact, going to be the norm. Yeah. If not 85% plus will be using a combination. So as an administrator, let's, let's glom on the private cloud side for a sure. second, this east-west idea. What kind of information are they getting when they look at a console of, between, of the inter-VM traffic? Like, what are they being told? So essentially, it's just um, we basically are able to, able to tap in using our virtual taps into that traffic. So um, if you think about what happens in terms of a normal, say, fiber link, uh, there's a lot of data traversing it. And in a normal physical environment, you would put in a physical tap, and it would make a copy of that data, and it would send it to a network packet broker that would distribute it across, say, your different security tools if you want like an IDS or it could send it to an application performance monitoring type of tool mm -hmm. uh, and and so so those tools would then look at that data and and leverage it as you know based on what they're doing if uh, it's looking at application performance it could tell you where there are some issues in terms of performance of your network uh, what happens in a in a private cloud is when it's inter v you know when it's going between VMs and if the VMs are on an actual one server, nothing is crossing a physical link. So you have to be able to do this in a virtual way, and that's what our virtual tap does. Is it, it does a couple of things. It's able to tap into that traffic, and it actually can summarize it in terms of how it sends it up, because in the virtual space, there could be a, a myriad of traffic that potentially could be sent up, which would totally overpower a lot of your tools. Right, and that's one of the problems with a lot of tools is just, it's a deluge. Exactly, yeah. and that, that's why things like uh, our network packet brokers, things like our Vision One product, are awesome because what they do is they aggregate, they can load balance across the tools, they can actually do support for you know sort of metadata and summarizing of the information so that the tools just get what they need. We can do, we have intelligence to do application level filtering, so we know that we just want to send this type of traffic to this type of tool. So it's a lot of intelligence built in there. When customers look at the metrics, the return mm -hmm. on investment metrics with regard to a CloudLens deployment, how are they measuring ROI? What are they? What's the business benefit that they're seeing with the tool? Uh, so for something like that, it's still in the early stages at this point as far as cloud deployments and having the visibility standpoint. But in general, uh, having network visibility allows you to, to look at a number of things. Probably the biggest one is from a security standpoint, is knowing if there's potential threats in that data, uh, understanding also if there's any performance hiccups. So, you know, it, it, uh, it really varies based on the vertical. So for example, for somebody who has to be PCI compliant, uh, being able to leverage their tools, like their network tools, security tools, and and uh, and extend their life cycle of them is very valuable from mm -hmm. an ROI standpoint. If they don't have to have 
all the data being sent to them. So uh, with, with something like a cloud lens, you, what you're able to do is, is really make sure the right data goes to the right tool. So the ROI for that is pretty significant mm -hmm. because you're, you're really filtering down to, to the appropriate amount of data that goes up there. It can range, honestly, anywhere from 10x to 50x. That's impressive. It is. It's, it, it's a very compelling uh, platform for folks who are looking to understand what's going on in their network. Well, thank you very much. That was a great overview. Thank you. It's great to be here.